Welcome back, and thank you for tuning in. That's what I like most about you. We're getting ready for hockey season. Opening some early 90s hockey packs. Bought a lot of these off of uh, lots on eBay. I have a bunch, so I separated one pack from each set that I thought would be fun to open. The most fun, though, we need to point out. So this 269 today would be uh, like 580 in American dollars. So that's fun. Something to think about there. Let's jump in. No particular order, but might as well start with the upper deck. Always my favorite. We'll set these off to the side for now. All right, so our first pack, 91, 92. Nice checklist on the back. 600 to 700. Jason Cerrone. Brad May. Sandlek. Right now we're looking for big names or people that I remember from my childhood. Dale Howard, Chuck. Neil Broughton. Nice. They really need to bring that back. North Stars and the Whalers. And what do we have here? Is that, it is. The Magnifique. A little corner damage up here, but man, who cares? Take a closer look. Oh, that's beat too. These cards do not last long in packs. Or not last well sitting long in packs, I guess would be a better way to say that. Still. Ah, oh, the zoom is too high. Hold on. Now, you know, we're just going to leave it high. I think it actually looks better. Just saw that Ron Tugnut on the back, though, so we know what's coming. Ziggy Palfy. You know what? Hold on. All right, so we got the uh, the zoom situation figured out. For now, anyway. And then Ron Tugnut that we noticed earlier. We'll leave him up there, too. Nordiques. I had the dopest Nordiques hat I bought up at the Hall of Fame. Back in probably 0405, I left it in some dude's car one night. And he wore it, too. That was the annoying thing. Like, he was a friend through a friend. And I was like, yo, dude, do you think you would get my hat back? And he's like, oh, he was actually wearing it today. Dude didn't even know hockey. We didn't run into each other again, either. The gum's not in bad shape on this one. A lot of hockey gum. I mean, uh, baseball gum. Maybe it's because it's not from the 80s. But the 80s stuff soaked up moisture and then leaked into the the cards themselves and maybe too that was a difference between actual tops manufacturing and OPG manufacturing OPG sorry for my Canadian friends all right so we'll flip this yeah we knew that was coming the great one now, interestingly these must have been printed on two different types of cardstock you can even see on the video how that's two different colors of white right there Still, even to this day, there's something fun about pulling a Gretzky card. Leave him there. Glenn Wes. <laughs> Ramage. Larry Onoff. Craig McTavish. Yeah, you know what? We're always going to sound like old men when we say this, but they really don't make them the same anymore. Dave Lowry. McClellan. Lakota. Bobby Smith. Bob Sweeney, Maloney, and Phil Bork. Very nice. Moving on to 91 score. Hopefully we get that Bobby Orr special card in there. We'll see. And these plastic packs, sometimes difficult to open, but what we're seeing now is that they definitely were the best choice for preservation. Brilliant planning by score. Mark Messier. That's a nice card. I'm going to have to send that out to get graded. I have a Messier card I had planned on giving to my postal carrier when I thought that they were going to win a Stanley Cup, but they didn't, so I held on to it. I'm going to give that to him. He's in Alaska right now on vacation, but he'll be excited about this upcoming season, as I'm sure. Guy Lafleur. I think that'll be a, a nice thing for him, but then again, that card there... It looks nicer, but the edges are jacked up. That'll be like an eight at best. Still, though. Gretzky with the Lady Bing. I never cared for the the trophy cards, except for, I think it was Pro Set, maybe 9091, where the, the card was the actual trophy. Like, no player involved, just the trophy. That was pretty cool. 
Peter Angelo, Dave Tippett, Dominic Hasek. Nice. Joe Sacco. Scaldi. Dahlquist. Some whalers. I, I think the purple was an odd choice this year. Definitely took some uh, guts. Moving on, I, I think this was 91 Bowman. 91, 92 maybe. We'll double check. Yeah, 91, 92. And we have the entirety of gum. No worries. Got stuck to a commies card anyway. Gord Murphy. Gary Roberts. Gilbert. Peterson. Mike Richter. These cards held their, their corners pretty well. Gretzky looking upset. Yeah, I know what you're wondering. Why didn't I put the, the Lady Bing Gretzky out there? Not a fan of those cards. Here we are. Pro Set Platinum, 91-92. For a buck. I used to get these. So, my childhood L LCS was just up the, the road. It was actually a beer and thrift store called Beer and Discount. Legally called Beer and Discount. But the people that owned it were just an older couple who happened to love cards. So they sold and peddled traded cards out of their thing. So all the kids, we all called it Betty and Richards. That, that was their name. However, they did not peddle in hockey. So to get pro set, I would have to go to the other side of town to the furniture stripper, TNT furniture strippers in Hyde Park, New York. And I can still smell that, the stripping chemicals and everything. Absolutely phenomenal. So they always had the hockey cards over there. Darian Hatcher. What I do like about these is the full picture. Now, Tops for 2024 has short print inserts. They make a big deal out of this, like they just invented it. But here we are, 30 years ago, 32 years ago, full picture, bleed edge, I think they call that. Just absolutely phenomenal cards. Why didn't that keep up? Instead, we got all the framing and all kinds of crap. Anyway, let's move on. The downside, of course, is that you can't always recognize who we're uh, dealing with. Mike Keen. Nicholas Lindstrom. Hmm. I'm going to have to start another row. Hmm. Probably not the best with that. There we go. I want too much of a uh, glare. Okay, I don't at all remember these. Maybe I never had Pro Set Platinum. No, I definitely did. Okay, so Rick Hansen apparently wheeled himself around the world for a total of 25,000 miles in 1985. That's impressive, raising awareness for wheelchair sport and rehabilitation. Good on you, Rick Hansen. wonder what he's up to these days. Christich. Oh, there's Brett Hull. Our first Brett Hull card. Hmm. Lay him down over there. That's a nice one, too. And Cujo. Look at that. Tell me that's not a pretty card. Still not as pretty as my Hextall autograph, but that Hextall autograph was also on a pro set, also a down shot. Having fun so far, and I'm realizing, all right, so 10 packs might be too much if we're going to be chatting the whole time. We're up to 11 now, but there's probably three minutes of cutout. At least... I'm starting to realize now why some people use scissors to open these up, but as I think about grabbing mine, I can feel the cards have slipped. Let's see. I'll do it old school. And this was, before we forget, OPG Premiere, 93. Red Pack. Definitely never opened one of these ever in my life, if it wasn't obvious already. Stefan Roche. Badcock. Corvo. Islander. Korolev, nice. These cards feel a little weird. Joe Riki. There we go. I want to say, was he rookie on the Islanders? He definitely played on the Islanders for a little while. Okay, so draft. Oh, there we go. Drafted. It must have been traded pretty soon after. I do remember that, though. And Tyler Wright. I don't know if you could tell. These are slightly nicer than even like a Topps Tiffany. There we go. Really nice card. Good feel. 
Nice slip. 93 Fleer Ultra, here we go. Remember, this is about six bucks today. In all fairness, you get 19 cards, though. So six bucks really isn't that bad of a price. Especially considering the quality. Pat Flatley. Another Korolev. Matt Pachuk. Hmm. Hold on, we can't just slide through these like we could before. Getting a little bricking. No, not really. I think that's just suction. It's not actual. I oh, know, maybe a little bit. Ranford. Darian Hatcher. Luke Robitaille. Nice. Beautiful statue of him outside of Staples Center. It's always what it will be called if you're wondering. Trevor Linden. I think, yeah, we got another one back here. Thomas Steen. Lexi Zamnov. Glenn Healy. Oh, hold on. I'm not quite ready for Glenn Healy just yet. I guess we are. To say. There he is. What do you think about that? Glenn Healy. Rangers. Islander uniform. Postseason trade they mark down here. That's pretty dope. Why didn't they just leave it as Islanders down here? Either way, that's kind of a neat, neat thing to see. It'd be like a Leitner card stamped UNC or Jordan stamped Duke. Norm McIver. Robert Lang. Stuck. Who do we got here? Ulf. Oh, we got another. Hold on. Tony Granato. Very nice. Brother of Cami Granato. If you don't know about Cami Granato, definitely go look her up. Spend the rest of the afternoon learning who Cami is. And Jeff Sanderson. I'm actually considering getting... Well, I found a couple of the uh, period correct jerseys. And then the font stenciling on the back. The actual... I mean, it's bootleg, but it's still the right color patterns and stitching and all that. I'm thinking about putting together a, a Granato jersey, Cami. And rocking out to the... Uh, PWL, eight, PWHL games. The New York team plays in Connecticut, so that's not a, a long drive. That's actually also the closest for me. They play down in the same place where the, the Sound Tigers played. Oh, what do we got? Parkhurst, uh, 92 2 series. Oh, these are jacked. Yeah, there's a little curve to these. Rick Tockett. I can't tell. Yeah, some are sticking together. Gary Galley. A little damage on the card. Okay, so here's a pro tip. Don't buy uh, old packs of Parkhurst. Not only do they stick, but they do leave slight remnants from card to card. Still fun to crack. I mean, if you get them for a dollar... Grab him. Who's rookie? Oh, Keith Chuck. Rookie card on the Keith. Antonio Monte. That's a pretty cool card. Not as cool as the Keith card, though. Okay. Moving on, we have two left. Pinnacle, which, if I remember correctly, these were an expensive pack. Probably four or five back then. So we'll leave that. We'll do the Bowman first. I have a bunch of the Bowman sitting around. I bought a, a grip all from one dude who hooked me up with a good price. So, all right, that'll be fun. All right, so what's the damage card? Tom Steen, wrecked. Most of these actually feel like there might have been some kind of dampness at some point. I can't figure out what's happening right now. Hmm, you know what? Still holding on to it. Jeff Brown, Osborne, Andy Brickley, checklist. Al McInnes. And that card's in good condition, too. Sitting next to the Dino, it's night and day. Trevor Linden again. I think we saw one of him before. John Casey. Tepo Newmanin. You get a spot at the table. 
Ally Afraid, he definitely gets a spot at the table. We're not going to overshadow anybody else, though. And Brian Bellows. Not to be confused with Brian Fellows, who owns the petting zoo down the road. I'm Brian Fellows! And lastly, Taka Pinnacle. Oh, that opened very conveniently. And these are also going to be stuck, but man, nice looking cards. Nice feeling cards. And the stick's not too bad. Ryan Walter. Davidoff. Can we see? Yeah, there's some sheen. They feel nice. I suppose that's where they get the name Pinnacle from. Larry Murphy. Disappointed we didn't see a Kevin Stevens today. Not disappointed with the three Gretzky pulls. Lexi Zamnov rookie. Dale Howard, Chuck. Oh, it's jacked. You see that? Up in the corner, there's all kinds of sticky from the last card. Still might sleeve that up, put it in the PC anyway. But yeah, see, these are tough cards to hold on to long term. Joe Sackick. Yeah, I'm going to try to clean that one up a little bit. There's a little bit that same remnant that I was talking about on the last one. Not as bad with the Joe Sackick card. That's nice. All right, we're going to have to start stacking off there. Another Madonna. Oh, no, not another Madonna. Before it was Granado. Do you hear the idiot from Amazon? These people don't know how to back up. I mean, why you're even pulling down a 10-foot driveway is beyond me, but I think my neighbors make them put all their stuff in the backyard. For some reason, I guess they're afraid of porch pirates. They're new to the neighborhood. That's why. I mean, nothing here has ever been stolen. But Yari Curry. And that's cool. The black on black got a nice look to it. Oh, even better. The dude's talking on a speaker phone right now so we can all enjoy his conversation. And Mark Recchi to close out the pack. Now I just realized I don't know if I was recording that whole time. That's going to be upsetting. I need to <laughs> figure this out real quick. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. We're not going to go through each individual hit. We will take a look at the, uh, the reflective Mario. Pretty dope. Other dope card that we pulled. I would say the Keith to Chuck uh, rookie card. Enthused about that. Luke Robitaille is dope. That Messier I'm pretty pumped about. I have a couple of these Guy Lafleur sitting around somewhere. I'll have to check my mom's attic. And the auto I have... No, I think I have the Lady Bing auto for Gretzky. Tops, though, not OPG. So, a fun time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're getting ready for hockey season. It's going to be a good year. Go Islanders. And whoever your favorite team is, as long as that favorite team's not the Rangers, I'll cheer them on for you in your absence. Or company, it's your choice. And uh, let me know, are you a fan of any high school, college, minor league, you know, any local leagues around you? I think that's really where the best hockey is. The NHL, it's, it's not what it was back in the 90s. That's just a shame. Took the fun away from it. Bring back the two-line pass, that's what I say. Either way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down in the comment section, including good jokes and bad jokes, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you watching. Let's do this again soon. Peace.